How does stress affect your body? Min sana in corporo sano is a Latin phrase usually translated as a healthy mind in a healthy body. It goes all the way back to ancient times, explaining how a physically fit healthy body tends to increase the proportion of endorphins in our mind, which are considered positive and feeling good chemicals. But what if the process is reversed? What if our mind tends to change and disturb our normal body functions? It's well known that many daily things in your life affect your body functions from food and drinks to different types of activities you go through. However, the way you feel mentally can also have a major impact on how you feel physically. To sum it up, stress affects all systems of the body, including the musculoskeletal, respiratory, cardiovascular, endocrine, gastrointestinal, nervous system, and reproduction systems. No matter how much our bodies are used to fighting all the negative things in our system, they are not equipped to handle stress as a long-term or chronic illness. We can look at some systems separately, musculoskeletal system. When we're stressed, our muscles tense up. When the stress passes, our muscles relax. This creates an ongoing process. However, if the stress is constant, it causes the muscles in the body to be in a more or less constant state of guardedness. Both tension type headache and migraine headaches are associated with chronic muscle tension along with lower back pain. Respiratory systems, stress and strong emotions can present with respiratory systems, such as shortness of breath and rapid breathing, also being the pre-symptoms of panic attacks. For people without respiratory disease, this is generally not a problem. However, for people with pre-existing respiratory diseases such as asthma or chronic bronchitis, in some cases, it can be fatal. There is no real cure for these types of situations besides really relaxation, breathing, and other cognitive behavioral strategies. Cardiovascular system. During some stress episodes, the blood vessels that direct blood to the large muscles and the heart, increasing the amount of blood pumped to these parts of the body, and elevating blood pressure. Long-term ongoing stress can increase the risk for hypertension, heart attack, or stroke. Nervous system. Chronic stress over a prolonged period of time can result in a long-term drain on the body. The constant activation of the functions of the nervous system can have negative responses from the system itself. While in stress, the brains send signals to different parts of the body, so it commands heart to beat faster, respiration rate to increase, blood vessels in the arms and legs to dilate, digestive process to change, and glucose levels in the bloodstream to increase to deal with the emergency. Gastrointestinal system. Early life stress can change the development of the nervous system and can increase the risk for later gut diseases or dysfunctioning. Stress is associated with changes in gut bacteria, which in turn can influence mood. Thus, the gut's nerve and bacteria strongly influence the brain. When stressed, individuals may eat much more or much less than usual. Different foods or an increase in the use of alcohol or tobacco can result in heartburn or acid reflux. Stress or exhaustion can also increase the severity of regularly occurring heartburn pain. However, the 2020 study by AIS found that stress also accelerated the process of melanocyte stem cells dying and causing gradual whitening over time as we age. There is no real cure to stress, and there is no real prevention of it eventually happening. The only way you can potentially reduce it is yoga, meditation, massage, psychotherapy, or a combination of all. However, at the end of the day, you'll probably have your own individual ways of relieving stress.